Why should I invest for the long term? When thinking of an investment, it's important to take a long-term view. Obviously, people's definitions of long-term will differ, but it certainly means considering the length of the time you plan to hold the investment for and not being distracted by what might happen tomorrow or the day after. In the world of investments, long-term generally means more than 10 years. Unfortunately, none of us have a crystal ball. However, unforeseen events can have a huge impact on the stock markets and forecasting the timing of these events is virtually impossible. In order to try and avoid these unpredictable events, investors might be tempted to take a very short-term view, jumping in and out of the market depending upon whether the news is good or bad at the time. The problem there, of course, is that by the time you've heard the bad news, the value of your investment may have already fallen significantly. Therefore, trying to time the market comes with significant risks. When markets are volatile, even the very best investment professionals find it difficult to time the best and worst days to buy and sell investments. You could miss out on market gains in trying to chase a price, or indeed lose money altogether by mistiming an investment. And don't forget, it costs to trade investments. So the more you buy and sell, the more transaction costs you will incur, leaving you out of pocket if markets don't move in your favour. I suppose you can see why some people might think sticking to cash accounts could be a safer option to avoid the risks associated with such market volatility. However, there are other, different risks to consider if you adopt this approach. The effects of inflation over long periods of time can seriously erode the real value of your savings. Just to maintain their real value, you have to ensure that your savings are earning an interest rate which at least matches inflation. Think about it. A low interest rate, coupled with a higher rate of inflation, over a long time frame, and you can see how your savings, if held in a cash deposit or bank account, soon diminish. Taking a long-term view becomes even more important when we start to think about the reality of living longer. The dwindling state pension fund means that saving for retirement is becoming essential, and the longer time you have to save, the better. As the stock market is difficult to time, by investing a regular sum each month, rather than a large amount on one day, you can reduce the risk of getting it wrong. This is sometimes referred to as pound cost averaging. Over the long term, this approach averages the cost you pay for an investment, meaning you might end up paying less for the investments you purchase. For example, if you invest £20 in the stock market each month for a year via a suitable investment, you will access the market at different points each month. The low points mean you can buy more for the same amount, but the higher points mean you get less. The real cost will therefore be the average of all these payments over the year. Essentially, what it means is that by putting a bit in every month, you aren't leaving it to chance that the time you did enter the market was the right time. Another benefit of regular investing is the effect that compounding can have on your investment. Keeping it simple and thinking in terms of a bank account, Compound interest means you are earning interest on previous interest paid. So, for example, if you have £1,000 in the bank, which pays 5% interest, although the rate stays the same each year, the amount which you are being paid increases. This is because you are earning interest on previous interest paid. Putting a little aside each month will soon become a habit, and even a small amount each month can grow into a sizeable amount quicker than you think. Once regular saving becomes a habit, you'll hardly notice you're even saving. Everyone needs to plan for their future, and it's important to make the right decision about where and how to invest your money. Each person's financial situation and needs are different. There is no one-size-fits-all, and seeking advice from a financial advisor can provide tailored advice that is specific to your individual needs. A financial advisor can help you plan your savings, or help you to save for a specific objective. Your goals might be specific, like children's university fees, a new house or a world cruise, or more general, like just saving for retirement. Either way, a financial advisor can help you to work out what is both achievable and what is affordable based on your specific situation. With the vast number of investment products available in the marketplace, finding the most suitable is equally important. Many products are quite complex, and it is important that investors fully understand the risks before investing. A financial advisor can explain all of this to you to make sure you end up with the right solution. Don't forget, financial advice is not just for the wealthy. It's available and valuable to everyone. If you don't have an advisor, you can find one at unbiased.co.uk.